everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you my Amazon Classroom Favorites. I recently did an Amazon Favorites video and I promised you guys that I would do a separate video for my Classroom Favorites. So here we are today. I think I have about 10 or so items on this list that I wanna share with you. I will link literally everything in the description box below and that way you can get these items too. Now the things I have on my list are honestly good for any kind of teacher. I am an elementary art teacher and soon to be a middle school and high school teacher. If you're wondering what that's about, you can check out my video, me announcing um, this change in my career. Now I will say though, this list of classroom favorites from Amazon, there's gonna be something for everybody. Whether you're a teacher, you are a parent, you're a um, homeschooling parent or you're a classroom teacher of a different content than mine there's still gonna be something on this list for you because I tried to pull a bunch of different things so the first items are attention getters this is probably more for elementary but honestly I could use this for middle school too um, now the classroom that I'm going into actually has a bell system so I don't think I will be really needing this where I'm going, where I'm transitioning, but in the elementary setting and my setting right now, it has been a life saver. So the first one is this wooden chime. I discovered this first when I was trained in responsive classroom, and I use this basically to quiet the class, to get their attention, to start my lesson, and I just do a very gentle and that's it. And it's done wonders. Now I will say with rowdier classes, um, you know, you sometimes can't resort to this, or you have to do other things first, and you have to also teach your kids and model your with your kids how to respond when you hear the chime, but it has been wonderful, and it's just a nice calm sound. First, you going up into the front of the room and using your voice as a teacher. I try to use my voice as least as possible and use things like these more. Then the next thing is a doorbell. I'm sure you probably have seen these floating around Instagram and um, YouTube and things like that, but it really is a lifesaver. So I have had this doorbell now for a year and a half. So last year I got it, I used it all year, and then this year I love it. Now with being in an art room, I use this solely for a cleanup sound. I don't want to kind of like mix it up, so I want to make sure that they know this is for getting attention throughout the class. This is solely for cleanup. It's cleanup time. When you hear that, you need to start cleaning. So you can choose a bunch of different ones. It just plugs into your wall. It's really easy. And you can also adjust the volume. So I love this. And I know some teachers put this on their lanyard. I don't usually wear a lanyard when I'm teaching because my lanyard always ends up dipping into paint or something, being an art teacher, but you could. I just usually keep this up at my desk. So since I am an art teacher, I have discovered some really awesome materials for days when I need something simple to use with the kids, a little bit less mess and a little easy for them to manage. Great for kindergarten, great for if you're a classroom teacher and you want to incorporate art, but you don't want to be pouring paint and have the big mess involved in that. So the first one is paint sticks, temper paint sticks. These things are amazing. I do model with the kids how they need to either hold the cap, put the cap in a safe spot because you can't stick the cap on the back, but similar with a glue stick and they just roll up like that too, but they honestly create the most gorgeous colors and bonus, you can teach color mixing with these because they do mix and create the secondary color. So I really, really love these. I have a class pack of them um, and they've just been such a fun addition to my art room. The other thing I've been using is tempera cakes. These are completely dry um, and then you get your brush wet and you add water to them. They remind me of honestly like little hockey pucks. This was one that has never been used. You can see like the thickness and everything. That temper cake came from this set. So this is a six set and then this is like a bright fluorescent one, but there's a bunch of different ones you can get. Um, I just love this because you don't have to pour the paint. It's dry unless it's wet. So it's not like a cup of paint that could spill or something like that. And it creates the same bright colors as uh, liquid paint does. So you have the same quality and everything, but it's just less prep, less mess, and it just will really save you a lot of time, a lot of headache. Now for one of my students' favorite things, it is the Mr. Sketch scented sticks. I have a big class pack of these and they love them. I let these out for special days. I let the kids use them. Um, since I'm leaving, I've been doing it more often because I just, I don't know, I want them to enjoy them and everything before I go. And I just love to see how excited they are. 
with them and smelling these like they just smell so good honestly and I'm saying that and I'm an adult so you can only imagine how kids love these but they're also really bright and fun so you have like banana and mint and berry and all these different smells and I just I really love these and so do the kids. Are you guys ready to see the best stapler in the entire world? It is my electric stapler. This thing is a beast. It does I think 20 to 40 sheets, I can't remember, but it will be in the link. You can go and check it out. But I use this because in my classroom we make sketchbooks and we have a big chunk of paper that I have to staple. That's why I got it, but it's amazing. So the kids can use this and it does not jam. All they do is they slide a piece of paper or something into this slot and it will automatically automatically staple it. It also doesn't slide around because it has these suction cups and then there is a light that comes on if you need to reload it. So to reload it, all you do is press this button. It pops this part out. Hopefully you can see that and then you just put your staples in there. This has seriously been amazing. If you are sick of your staplers getting jammed, if you need to staple a bunch of papers at once, you need the stapler. All right, the next item is something for a teacher, not necessarily a student, and it is this food heater that I got this year. I got this so that I wouldn't have to walk all the way up to the faculty room if I wanted to heat my lunch up. So about two hours or an hour to an hour and a half before your lunch, you can open this and you can put in your container of food. You can even put in like a lean cuisine in the box and everything, just stick it in here. You close it up and then it plugs in and there's this little like carrying spot for the cord. So this just plugs in like that. This is called the Hot Logic Mini. And then in an hour and a half or so, you open it up and your food is steaming hot and ready to eat. It's just such a time saver and I have been really loving it. The next item I don't actually have with me because I'm packing up my classroom to switch jobs. So I will put a picture of it kind of like right here, but it is my Bluetooth microphone in rose gold. It's beautiful. I love it so much. I use it for really engagement. So if I'm having the students share about their artwork or something, I will pass the microphone around the circle and they can talk into it. And it just, it makes those students who are a little shy, who are unsure about sharing, they want to do it because they want to hold the microphone. It also honestly helps with the quiet students who aren't able to project their voice because it does have the speaker in it. So um, I think you can even hook it up to music. Like I think it's supposed to be like a karaoke thing, but I use it in the classroom as an awesome tool and the kids really enjoy it. One more item that I don't have because I packed it up, but I will again put a picture of it right here is my teacher toolbox. I got mine from, I think from Lowe's, but I know they have them on Amazon and I spray painted mine. It kind of like light blue mint color, which is my favorite color. Um, and then I got labels and I will put the link to my labels that I have below too. But this has been a lifesaver for space because I don't, I don't like to put all of that kind of stuff in my desk. It just gets cluttered. And this is a way to organize all of those like office supplies and things that you have into a nice, neat and beautiful space and organizational tools. The next classroom favorite from Amazon is my teacher easel. I love this thing so much. It has two sides to it that are both a whiteboard and it has a shelf inside of it that you can put some things in there. So I use this up at my carpet for demonstrating to my younger students and then I can put my demonstration tools into that shelf area. It's just such an awesome awesome tool. It is also on wheels and the wheels can lock. I will say it was very hard to put together, but I did it. So if I can do it, you guys can do it too. And it was totally worth it. The next couple items are pretty big items. And I don't want you to ever think that you need this stuff for teaching by any means. This is just stuff that I've really, really enjoyed. So the first one is my Cricut and my laminator. When I am setting up my classroom, I use these like crazy. With my Cricut, I cut out vinyl that I use to make signs on my whiteboard and things like that. And then with my uh, laminator, I well, I laminate things pretty much all year with that because it's a thicker lamination than what my school has. But it's also really good to laminate your things for your bulletin board. You can use them year after year because of that because it is such a good quality lamination. I think I use the three millimeter lamination, but they have other ones. And it's just been an awesome tool, like I said, especially for classroom setup. The last item is my Apple Watch, believe it or not. I use this so much for teaching, way more than I thought I would. I set timers for students. I use the stopwatch and my students 
practice cleaning up fast or then they try to like beat their time. Um, I set reminders on here. I check my email. This way I can get email notifications right to my watch. I don't have to go to my phone or my computer because I'm never sitting. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always up and about in my classroom. So for me to have a way that I can read my email on the go is amazing. And at my school, we use Class Dojo to communicate with parents, and I do get Class Dojo notifications on my watch too. All right, everybody, those are all of my Amazon favorites for my classroom. I hope you guys could take some of these items and use them yourself. Be sure to check out the links in my description box where you can find all of these goodies, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, do that before you go. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys in my next one. See ya.